this lecture we are going to use both positive indexing and negative indexing in our array or list data in our previous lecture we have created an array or list data in where we have created a variable name with USA state which contain the state names of USA as a list data now we are going to use this to make ourselves clear about positive indexing and negative indexing first of all let's screen this and let's see is everything okay or not inside of this list data yes we can see the result here we have all of these state names let's clear this now let's start writing our index based script now I'm going to print a particular value which index number is 2 so it seems I'm going to use a positive index number so in here I have to give the instruction print first of all then which one I need to print US state variable which value of US state I want to print the value which has the index number 2 I want to print this one based on my given instruction with positive indexing first of all Python script will organize all of this data with positive index number it will be started from here with 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 so based on our given index number which is positive we will get North Dakota as our result if we run this see we can see North Dakota which has index number 2 based on positive indexing 0 1 2 if we change this as 3 now let's see the magic it is showing Washington the index number is 3 if we use 5 it is showing the last data which is Hawaii now let's see if we use 6 which does not exist inside of this data as index number run this it is showing us error because inside of this list data we don't have index number of 6 because inside of this list data we have 0 to 5 index numbers so first of all we must be sure how many data we have inside of our array or list data based on this we have to start writing our index based script now let's see if we use 0 now save this and run this it is showing New York now let's use negative index number which will be started from the right side with minus 1 value then will be continue with minus 2 minus 3 and so on if we use minus 1 now run this so I am giving instruction to Python organized all of this list data with negative indexing based on this find that data which index number is minus 1 so after getting our instruction Python script will organize this with negative index number from here it will be started with minus 1 then minus 2 minus 3 and so on to the left side based on our given index number now it will search the data based on this index number minus 1 and here we can see how I is our result which has minus 1 index number if we change this with 4 let's clear previous result now run this we will get this result North Dakota but why we need negative indexing say you have a lot of data inside of your array say more than 100 more than 300 you want to remember your last data in your script in that case you can start from the end with negative indexing and you can start from the beginning by using positive indexing so if you feel comfortable to start from the first data you can start with positive indexing and if you feel comfortable to start from the last data then you must have to use negative indexing so this is the reason which type of indexing we need to use in our script